I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas, and I hope you have opportunity today to really reflect on what God did over 2,000 years ago when he yielded his son to mankind. That had to be a scary thing for him, and yet he trusted the fact that uh, Jesus Christ would live a sinless life, and that uh, even though he would be yielded up into the hands of very, very evil men, that in the end there would be a way that would be provided by his sacrificial death that all of mankind could taste uh, that relationship with God that we are intended to have. This morning we're going to be talking about Abraham's faith and it is just a wonderful picture of our Heavenly Father. It is amazing. And when you when you look at Abraham and how faithful he was at this juncture of his life, it's amazing. Today we seem to be in a situation that is just the opposite. It seems like fear is a virtue. If you're not freaked out and you're really trusting God, people look at you as if maybe you don't have any concern for life. But take a look at Abraham. So here's Abraham. God asked him to take his son up to Mount Moriah and offer him up. This has got to be rather terrifying. He gets up early, early in the morning. He gets his son. He gets the wood. He gets the fire. He loads it all upon that donkey, and then they head towards Moriah. He takes his servants with him. When they get to the base of Mount Moriah, he leaves the servants there. And what it says in the account in Genesis, chapter 22, he tells them that uh, in verse 5, I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. So God says, go offer your son. And Abraham's saying, we're going to come again to you. We're going to go worship. Now, <laughs> verse 7, his son is starting to figure out, we're missing something here. Where is the lamb, he asked. In verse 8, Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself a lamb. When you get to Hebrews chapter 11 and you, you speak on the, uh, those heroes of faith, Abraham obviously is mentioned here, a father of faith. Um, it says in verse 17, by faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac that he would receive the promise offered up in his only begotten son, of whom it was said that Isaac shall thy seed all be called, according that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from whence he received him in a figure. And so we see that Abraham believe that even if God made him go through with this, that God would raise him from the dead. Boy, that's a picture of who? Jesus Christ. And Abraham, being a picture of the Father, yielding up his son. This is absolutely astounding. Now, I know in parenting, there's a time when you just, you really got to give your children to the Lord. There's not much you can do. They're, they're really in his hands. And if you understand parenting, you understand that you are a steward. Many parents today um, are not really raising warriors to fight a spiritual battle. Um, they're kind of raising little movie stars, little idols, um, little prima donnas. And so they're being offered up on the sacrifice, uh, up on the altar, shall I say, of... Um, of popularity and possessions and things that delight their flesh and it's really really sad in a world that honors fear in a world that is turned completely upside down can we be people of faith notice as Abraham was climbing the mountain he knew what God was asking him to do he was steadfast, unmovable. He made his journey. Can we be people like that? Can we be a kind of a people that 
regardless of what God asks us to do, can we be the kind of people that with peace and joy march forward in difficult times regardless because we are people of faith. I'd encourage you to really research this story and take a look at it. Of course, I know you're going to be in Luke chapter 2 today and looking at that. But look at this and see what does it look like to live a life of faith in a sea of fear. May God richly bless you. Merry Christmas. Love you all.